Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today's video is the second episode of my healthy lifestyle, weight loss, whatever you want to call it, journey. Um, if you haven't already, please do make sure that you watch episode one. It basically explains how I ended up letting go of my healthy lifestyle during lockdown and how that resulted in me gaining about seven kilograms in weight. I've decided to share the little vlogs that I managed to capture over this time of me losing and regaining my healthy habits because I know I'm not the only one to have experienced these changes over this time. These vlogs aren't perfect. <laughs> I fail multiple times and um, this isn't some crazy dramatic weight loss story. Uh, so sorry to disappoint if that's what you're looking for. It's more just a realistic daily vlog of how I try and I fail and I reassess until I succeed and how I slowly but surely rebuild the good habits into my life that I know that I need. It involves some principles that have really helped me in my life and that I really hope will ring true with you. Um, principles like being gracious to myself and realising that life isn't about perfection, that progress takes time. Um, I hope it will show how I don't beat myself up about things that go wrong. I just reflect, ask myself why, and I try again. Um, so yeah, we'll start off on my first attempt where I tried to kickstart a new healthy lifestyle, but I really just didn't prepare enough and ended up failing. Without further ado, let's get into it. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello, good morning, welcome to day one. I look naked, I'm not naked. I'm quite excited for this. I'm gonna be starting off with a weigh-in, measuring myself and just taking some body shots. Let's go. Hello, I'm home and I'm so tired. I cycled to and back from work and it was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. And I felt really good and energized when I got to work. I actually felt like just woken up. Like, you know, when I used to do those morning workouts, that would really wake me up and that's how I felt this morning. So that was nice. However, it was very hot and sweaty and tiring. Ugh. Um, and I was supposed to do a workout tonight, but I also have my small group via Zoom tonight. So I am not gonna work out because I feel kind of tired. Oh yeah, food wise, I had a piece of cake at work and a Welsh cake. So I just totally forgot. It was someone's birthday on a different ward and one of our friends brought us some of the cake because they had too much cake. And she had made this amazing Victoria sponge and I genuinely ate the whole thing. And then I was like, I wasn't supposed to eat that. Like I fully forgot, I completely forgot. And then afterwards I was like, I don't care. And ate and <laughs> And ate a Welsh cake. Um, so yeah, I think the reason for that, or the where I've screwed up, is that I really didn't prepare for this, so I have not prepped enough. I do not have healthy snacks in the house at the moment. I need to do a food shop to get some. My fruit bowl, let me show you what my fruit bowl currently looks like. My fruit bowl looks like this. So that is very depressing. I do need to get some snacks that I can actually eat because I didn't have any snacks to eat in work. But my lunch was really good and really healthy. Chicken, couscous and kale. I just feel so tired. I think it's just the sun. I'm going to have an ice cream because I did buy some Soleros before I decided that I wanted to stop constantly eating. Best ice cream ever. Ooh, 98 calories. Cool. Genuinely would not care if they were like 300, I would still eat it right now, so. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to day one of my fat loss journey. I'm not gonna lie, I've done this before. Technically started last Monday and then quit the very same day. <laughs> I did start this last week, but I just hadn't prepared. I still had loads of junk food in the house. I barely had any healthy food. Um, and then last week was really busy and stressful. And so I quit. I was just like, do you know what? I'm gonna start next week. <laughs> hey, if you're that kind of person who delays things till Monday, we could be twins, because I am too. Um, and also, I didn't do all my measurements right last week. I was in a rush before work, and so I didn't get like my body fat with the scale, because this scale apparently measures all of that. I've just done that, and my weight is 69.25 kilograms, BMI 26.7, which is in the overweight category, that's 25 to 30, is considered overweight. Body fat is 22.5, which they've put as 
quite fit. If you guys have seen my previous video on my body fat, um, I usually sit at about 14 to 15%, so that is high for me. What I'm gonna do as well is do some measurements, just because I think that would be good to monitor like how my body actually changes with what I do. With this, I estimated 19%, and the scale has told me that I'm 22.4% body fat. I need to set some goals. A happy weight that I live about when I'm, when I'm quite lean and fit is 63 kilograms, so that would be aiming for a weight loss. Wait, it gave me a target of 60? Nah, <laughs> I don't want to, that's quite small for me. I'm gonna go for 63 kilograms. That will be my goal. And my body fat percentage, I'm gonna go for 14. <laughs> so that is my goal set there. So I am only going to plan tomorrow <laughs> for first instances. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I think what I need to do is just one day, first of all. Um, and by the way, that's the last time I'll measure myself for like another couple of months. <laughs> and I say couple of months, I would otherwise leave it for like four months. Um, I say a couple of months literally purely for YouTube purposes. These measures are just signs of the lifestyle that I want to live, I guess. So living an unhealthy lifestyle over the last few months has caused me to gain weight. Living a more healthy lifestyle should cause me to lose body fat. Because I know what kind of comfortable weight I sit at when I'm in good shape, um, that should also lead to me losing weight, even when I have a high muscle mass. One thing that I have to do is meal prep and leave my card at home. So I'm very, very good at spontaneously buying unhealthy food. I need to leave my card at home, number one, cycle to work, and number three is to stick to meal plan. And then I'm going to plan out what I'm actually going to eat. So in the morning, I'm going to have a smoothie and porridge. For a snack, Brazil nuts and grapes. And then for lunch will be my sweet potato and pork meal prep, which I'm literally cooking right now. Um, my second snack, I'm going to let myself have an ice cream because I've just cycled home. And then for dinner, salmon salmon and veg and my real focus for tomorrow will be just doing what i have to do i don't care like i'm not gonna look any different i'm not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna, i'm not gonna look any different from one day I'll probably feel a bit better and feel a bit more energized i'll probably be craving sugar because like today even i ate a muffin a slice of cake it was a diet pepsi but I've been, basically I've been eating a lot of sugar recently, so I'm expecting to miss that tomorrow. Main focus on what I really want to get across to you guys is the mentality with which I do this, hopefully, <laughs> which will be positive. Like, I'm not going to talk crap about myself, I'm not going to beat myself up, like, so I gained weight, like, that's completely normal. But I just want to express that, um, yeah, I'm not going to be stressing or thinking about how much I weigh or whatever. The only thing I'm going to be focusing on is making good decisions, so just eating a healthy breakfast and using my self-control to make good decisions. And I have to make that realistic, so I've put the ice cream in there because I know I'll be looking forward to that all day, um, and I'm not trying to like punish myself I'm just trying to be healthier so I do think like an ice cream can fit in with a healthy day I've not put a workout in there because I've been so lazy that I think that cycling to work is going to really tire me out cycling the five miles to work and then the five miles back is going to be my workout for the day I don't think I'll need another workout on top of that because I have just been so <laughs> so stationary <laughs> Um, so yeah, making it realistic and just doing the one day, don't want to feel overwhelmed by this at all, like one day at a time is how I'm taking it. I've only put in the food that I actually like, there's nothing in there that I don't enjoy. I'm not putting in like kale salads, I'm reducing my calorie intake, um, I'm increasing my exercise, how much I exercise, which will result in weight loss. I just want to be healthier, I want to feel stronger and fitter and I wanted to share that process with you guys because I was going to do this anyway but I feel like there's a lot that we can discuss um, in these videos and in the comments. The first thing I have to do now actually is go to bed. If you're trying to diet and you're not getting eight hours sleep you are really, you're really tempting yourself to fail. Um, oh that was the other thing, drink two litres of water. Um, so yeah I'm going to go to bed now and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. So there's my porridge, some blueberries, milk and oats. Now the way that I like to make my smoothie is actually a bit different. So I get 
some vitamin C and then I'm just going to add one of those, add one into the water and let it dissolve. And that's my coffee as well by the way guys. I've still got some butterscotch syrup in there, just much less um, milk than usual. For my smoothie I'm using this green smoothie mix and I'm just going to add that in. That's what it looks like by the way. Then here's my lunch for the day, so I've got some seedless grapes as a snack, um, some Brazil nuts, and like the laziest meal prep ever. I was so lazy, I just didn't want to cook, so I've literally just got up some sliced pork, half a baked potato. I couldn't even be bothered to cut the baked potato, so I just put it in whole in the oven. <laughs> and then some frozen like grain mix that I've just tried to add some seasoning to. But I think it'll taste okay actually, sweet potato really doesn't need that much. Okay, now I need to cycle to work, so see you later. Oh, just cycled home. It's pretty hard, you know? It's hard work. What's the time now? It's like half four. At work, I'm not gonna lie, I was very much craving just like any kind of sugar, just like chocolate or sweets or just anything. I didn't drink as much water as I should have. I was just not drinking any water until like 3 o'clock, <laughs> literally 3 p.m. I remembered. Um, so yeah, I definitely could drink more water. But I did only eat the stuff that I brought, which was good. I didn't eat any snacks or biscuits. Well, I did eat snacks, but my healthy snacks. The Brazil nuts really filled me up to the point where I wasn't actually hungry at lunchtime. And I still have my grapes, I haven't eaten them. I'm actually in the process of maybe moving out of this really lovely flat. I'm about to start <sighs> selling a lot of things, which is sad but exciting. But this place is so pretty. And um, yeah, I think for me, like for the first week or two, well, for the first two weeks, I think, I'm just gonna be doing like taste bud adjustment so I think where a lot of people go wrong with trying to lose weight is they try to just do everything all at once and they overwhelm themselves myself in the past included um, and I think like not eating the foods that you love like pizza cake or not eating as much of it that's hard enough let alone if you then swap it for foods that you don't love that's another pe mistake people make is trying to force themselves to eat healthy food that they don't enjoy i will only be eating healthy food that i actually like and then also small amounts of that food that you don't love so for me this week and next week i'm not really going to worry about portion sizes like if i eat everything on my list and i'm still hungry i'm allowed to have like 10 more apples I, i'm not measuring out the brazil nuts i'm not I'm not necessarily calorie restricting right now, which sounds really silly. It sounds really silly to try and lose weight without calorie restricting. And don't get me wrong, I, I am. I think I will end up eating less calories today than I have last week, just because the calorie content of the food will be lower. Like a bowl of porridge will be less than like a big, I don't know, bacon sandwich at work. <laughs> so yeah, I will be cutting calories, but what I'm mainly focusing on is just taste bud adjustment. So getting used to not having those sugar spikes throughout the day, um, just getting used to a healthy palate again. Um, and that takes time. And I don't want to just like hate my life over these next few months. I'm not, not in a rush. I want to do this the healthy way. So I'm literally just healthy eating and exercising more. This is the thing. The only thing I'm going to be thinking about is the input because the output will follow. And because I'm not in a rush, I don't have to try and like make my life a living hell for the next two two weeks the way i think about it is that four months from now by god's grace i'll be four months older either way so what's the rush like i may as well do it the healthy way there's just no rush we always seem to put a rush on things but yeah no hurry weirdly enough i actually don't want the ice cream i promised myself i think i want the grapes and to just sit down for a bit and chill on the balcony because if i move out i'm gonna really miss this balcony <sighs> and that's another thing as well listening to my body <laughs> like listening to my cue if I'm not hungry and there's something on the list to eat I'll just delay it and not eat straight away and I'll eat when I'm hungry apart from it bre for breakfast if I wake up and I don't feel hungry I will still eat breakfast just because that's really important because otherwise I'll just get absolutely starving at like 9 a.m. when I can't have breakfast because that's I'll be at work and then that ends up causing me to make bad decisions 
so yeah I'll still obviously eat breakfast if I'm even if I'm not hungry but for things like snacks and dinner and things like that if I'm not hungry for it yet I'm just not gonna alrighty then let's have these grapes so good This attempt went much better, as you can see. Over the next few weeks, I did manage to eat more healthy meals and exercise a bit more. Although some habits took a little longer to get rid of, like watching a lot of Netflix. I don't know, I had this thing where I just had to finish all of the series I was currently watching. So yeah, those stuck about for a bit longer. Um, I'd say that I went from eating healthily 5% of the time to 30% of the time and even though that wasn't my goal, I wanted to go to 100, it was still a huge improvement and so I allowed myself to celebrate that. The stress of moving definitely did set in and I acknowledged these factors when I was reflecting on how I was doing. Being able to be more realistic and say, okay, things are pretty crazy right now and allowing myself that grace while also still being honest with myself and saying, this isn't completely where I want to be and so I'm going to continue to keep trying to improve. In the next episode, I'll share the steps I took to introduce more accountability with my goals and to really just push myself in the right direction because I think sometimes we really do have to push ourselves. You know, life is not just rainbows and butterflies. It, it does take a lot of effort. So I'll talk through the house moves and the next steps I took to increase my accountability and help myself to be more successful um, and a continued approach of me just trying, failing, asking myself why. Why is it that I failed at this aspect? Because I personally think that is a huge thing in every area of life, you know, just assessing why and, and making those small changes and just continuing to try, you know. Life's not about perfection. It's, it's a journey and we'll get there. And I'm enjoying sharing my journey with you guys. So yeah, uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode and that you come back for episode three. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments of this video. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.